my name is Piero Caballero. I am the product manager for the residential side of Johnson Controls. And we're here today at the AHR Expo 2024. And we're uh, going to show you what some of the products that we are releasing this year uh, for our customers. This is our uh, HH8 heat pump. It's a side discharge heat pump that has been optimized for 454B refrigerant that we are implementing in our heat pumps. Uh, some of the features that we're adding in this product is that we are making it a little bit easier to install. Uh, we've made changes to the connection points. We are going for, from a swage connection to straight piping, so we're giving contractors and the installers the flexibility to choose how to connect the pipings. Another big improvement that we made in this unit, we've increased the efficiency levels from uh, all the way to 18 and 19 CR2. Um, so it's a very efficient unit. Uh, noise levels are very low. Uh, we go all the way down to 57 dB, which is uh, you know, very, very low noise. Um, and uh, also the other big advantage of this unit is the fact that it's variable speed. So a variable speed unit will optimize the efficiency uh, at every single point, whether you need a very high demand or you have low demand for heating or cooling, this product will optimize that. And we are very proud to say that this unit will perform all the way down to negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a unit that can potentially, depending on the market, can replace some of the furnaces. Or uh, if you have uh, uh, the need, it can also work as a hybrid system and get the, the, the most efficient um, way to operate and to heat your home. Today we are here at the Johnson Controls AHR booth. It's 2024 and what we'll be reviewing is the DS Solutions mobile application. Uh, this application is for our contractors and technicians. It's to make it easier for them to access all the information, which is very unit specific, so they don't have to spend too much time on the rooftop trying to dig through catalogs or to maybe pick up a phone and call somebody to get access to information. What we have here is a quick QR code scan of the serial number plate that has a little QR code embedded in it that takes them to all the information. Unit literature, we have nomenclature, we've got parts list, we've got warranty information. All that the contractor needs is all available there so that they don't spend too much time digging information and it's more cost effective. What we have here and what we are showcasing this year at the AHR show is a tool called as RDS calculator. So as we all know, we will be moving on with a new refrigerant which is R454B. So we have a calculator that we are building within this tool that will tell technicians whether they need an RDS sensor installed on a unit or not. So it's a quick couple of steps for them to enter information such as the length, height, weight, and what's the largest volume on the unit in terms of refrigerant. And the calculator will quickly tell them what the information they need to know and also give them a report whether an RDS is required and if there are any other mitigation steps that they would have to take in addition to the RDS. Please download the app. It's available on the iOS store as well as Google Play stores. It's available for mobile devices as well as for your tablets. Welcome to the Hitachi booth here at AHR 24 Expo. This year we are extremely excited to be launching several new products one of the highlights of our show this year is going to be our new Heat Force Air 365 Max unit. And with me today, I've got Enes Uzel, one of our product managers, to tell us more about the fantastic new features and capabilities of this product. Enes? Thank you, Tyler. So today you are seeing the third generation VRF unit from Hitachi with me today. And the main thing about this unit that it's a heating product. We can do minus 22 heating with this unit and we have great new features coming along with the third gen Hitachi VRF products. One of them is being we have 200% connection ratio. On a single module, we can go up to 12 ton and on double modules, we can go to 24 tons. And other great feature we have this with, with this product is our AirCloud tab. With AirCloud tab app, leveraging NFC technology, you can bring your smartphone near this area and read all the error codes. And not just error codes, you can see the description of the error within the application itself and diagnose the unit. The piping requirements are gonna be as same as Gen 2. We are maintaining our 3,280 feet of piping, total piping length. 
and we can still maintain our 360 feet vertical piping length along, along with the furthest indoor unit from the outdoor unit. All the piping lengths remain same as Gen 2 units. Air 365 Max, our heat force product with that minus 22 low ambient. We're launching our new rack and pack product, residential and light commercial mini splits in R32, along with a wide range of new features going along with it. With me here is Bahadur Tashkanek to introduce our new Air H2O air to water heat pump. Bahadur. Now, Bahadir, I noticed that on this unit, it appears a little bit larger than your normal mini split, but I noticed on the back of this unit, there are a little bit different connections than what most people would expect. Can you talk more about that? A great question. I mean, that is the question that we have been gathering, right? Is it a mini VRF outdoor unit? Is it a pack outdoor, rack outdoor unit? It is an air to water heat pump outdoor unit. So in this unit, we do have, just like all we know, that we, that we do have condenser, we have compressor, but we do have evaporator inside, all together with water exchanger. So mainly this section is the coil section. We do have compressor over here, and we do have the water exchanger. So just a little bit with it. The main reason of that with it is because of adding other components to the same unit. So that's why we are calling monoblock. So one single outdoor end takes care of everything. On the hydraulic side, for sure, as long as the contractors are following the rules in regards to selection, they can freely select any type of chiller type of fan coils or domestic hot water tanks. But the critical thing is water temperatures, right? Those are the critical things in order to make the selections for the right fan coils and the right domestic hot water tanks. From Johnson Controls and Hitachi here in North America, looking forward to see everyone next year as well.